Good morning, boys and girls. Today in math, you are going to be learning about equal parts and drawing shapes. Um, it is kind of an introduction to fractions, so I'm going to kind of do a mini lesson over what it would look like today. So, for example, you're going to be naming two, three, and equal shares, two, three, and four equal shares today. So I'm going to draw a shape. I'm going to draw a square. Okay. See it right there. Now it says to make it into two equal parts. So we want to make it equal. So I'm going to just draw a line down the middle. Like that. Now I have two equal parts. Now they want us to name one part. So if I'm going to name one part, I could say one half. I could say one half, but with just words. Or I could say one out of two parts. Okay, so there's some ways to write what this shape says. One half, one half with words, or one out of two parts, because I have one, two, two parts. Now, if I was to name all parts, it would look like this. If I was naming all parts, I could say, there are two halves with words, or I could write it with two halves with the number, or I could say um, two out of two parts, or we can call that a whole. So if I'm going to name all parts, which is this side, Okay, I have two halves. There's two halves. There's two ways to write it. Or I could say there's two out of two parts. One, two. Or a whole. Okay, so that's some ways that we can write um, the shares that we would have. So if we're naming one part, it's this. If we're naming all parts, it would be this. Okay, so now we're going to try it with another shape. So now we are going to keep that same square, but this time we're going to divide it into three parts, three equal parts. Okay, so I'm going to get my shape here. Now, obviously, when we're doing this, you're going to try and make it as equal as you can. Sometimes it's not as easy, okay? So three equal parts. There, I have three equal parts in my shape. Now we're going to name one share of this, okay? So if I'm gonna name one share, I have three parts. So I'm going to, I could say one out of three parts. I could say one third with the number. I could put one third with just words. Okay, so there are the ones that we could write for this. So there's, if I'm choosing one share, it would be one out of three, and that would be the same as this, one third or one third with just words. Now, if I was going to name all parts, it would look like this. I could say that there are three thirds, because there's three of them. I could write it with the word three thirds. Three out of three parts, or I could call it a whole. Okay, sorry if I couldn't fit 
the words. It looks kind of sloppy. So if I'm naming all shares, there's three thirds because we have one, two, three thirds. And then we could also say that we have three out of three parts because we're using all parts. Or we could say a whole. Okay. All right. So we're going to do one more. We're going to do the fourth now because we did two, three, and four. And those are the shares that we were practicing today. So now I'm going to make my shape again, and I'm going to make it into four equal parts this time. Okay. Now, are there other ways that you could probably make them in equal parts than how I'm drawing it? Yeah, as long as you can make them equal, that's fine. All right, so now we're going to name one share for them. You might be able to start figuring this out. So if I have one share, so here's my square in four equal parts. So if I have one share, I would say that that's one out of how many? Four. So I could say one out of four parts. I could say one fourth because that's one out of four. And now remember, I can write that with words, or I can write it with numbers, okay? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to write now what I was saying. So one fourths, one fourth, now this one's different because there's something that we also do that are in fourths. It's called a quarter. So I could write one quarter, okay, like four quarters equal a dollar. So same with this, four quarters equals one, okay? So I have one fourth, one fourth, one quarter, or I could say one out of four parts. Okay. So there is the ways to write it with naming the shares. So I could say one fourth, one out of fourths. Okay, same with here. One quarter, one out of that is a quarter. Okay, and then we can write one out of four parts too. Now we're going to look at what it would be if we named all shares. So if we use the whole shape here, we're going to name all shares. Okay, so same thing, here we go. We could use four out of four parts. We could call it one whole. We could call it four quarters, okay? So just like that, I'm gonna write some of those out now for you to see. So if we're using all parts, I could say four out of four parts. I could call it a whole, because we're using the whole shape. I could say four fourths, four quarters, because now I'm using the whole shape. So over here, four out of four parts, because I'm using the whole thing, one whole, four, fourth, because this is a fourth, 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 fourth. So now I'm using all four fourths or four quarters. We can call that a quarter, 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 quarter. Okay. So I hope this helps today when you are having to name the shares of the shapes that you divide equally. All right. Um, if there's any other questions, um, we can address them later. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.